I have officially found my favorite op shop in all of Australia and I cannot wait to go back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Ali and today I am reviving show and tell. So mostly this is just a massive thrift haul, but I also just wanted to share some things that I've been loving lately that you can also enjoy yourselves. You know, as kids in primary school or even in kindergarten, we would do show and tell. I don't know why we ever stopped. I have way cooler things now. As well as me showing you all of these things that I've collected, I would love to hear about things in your own life that you've been loving, whether that's music, a show, something cool that happened to you, you know, something that you would tell your classmates basically. Let me know in the comments. We are your classmates and class is in session. Let's go. Okay, so I just have to begin with my amazing thrift finds because I'm too excited not to. It has been three or four months now that I was in lockdown and I couldn't thrift. And now finally things are opening up again. My lifeblood is back. Birds are chirping. I can see the full range of color and I just, I feel like myself. I'm gonna start with one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. And that is this beautiful nightgown. Look at that gorgeous detailing on this. It's like a little, I was gonna say lemon tree, but it's not, it's floral, but it is just the most gorgeous color. I would ideally love to be able to wear this as like a casual summer dress. I just think it's a little bit too short. It's too gorgeous to like not be worn out of the house. And I know people have been able to style slip dresses quite casually. And so I don't think it would be that weird if I wore it. Is this not the most divine thing you have ever seen? I also love these straps. They're just so delicate and dainty. It does mean I can't adjust it for my tiny flat chest, but that is just a sacrifice that I have to make. But it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Okay, next I think I'm gonna show you the three pairs of shoes that I thrifted because I don't often thrift shoes, but when I do, God, they're good. Okay, so I've been wanting a pair of boots like this actually for quite some time. These are the bad boys that I found. They're kind of like a little bit of a Western theme without being over the top cowboy boots. So I can get away with wearing these to sort of a fancier, I don't know, classier event. I don't know anywhere fancy or classy that I would be going anytime soon, but you know, in my head, I just, I think these boots are so beautiful. And if I'm gonna wear something with heels, it has to be a chunky one like this. I just find boots of this height, so perfect, so comfy, it gives me the right amount of height and also so the right amount of like, you know, like stomping noise. They're so beautiful. They're Windsor Smith, which is like a really fantastic Australian brand. I am vegan, but I personally have no issue with wearing secondhand leather. It's just what works for me. I think it's the most sustainable. I also just love this little detail here. I know it's the Windsor Smith logo, but it also kind of just reminds me of the Texas Longhorns. So I love that. These boots, so gorgeous. Usually when I give you guys a haul, I tell you which fictional character they make me feel like. This is gonna be a really niche one, but I feel like when I wear these, I look like Taylor Louderman in Bring It On The Musical because she wears an outfit like this with like a white dress and a denim vest. So maybe I'll try and put that together in the try on haul. The next pair of shoes, some of you are gonna hate, <laughs> but I love these. Obviously loafers are kind of trendy at the moment. These are like next level authentic like grandpa loafers, but I love them. This is what it looks like. It doesn't have much of a heel, but again, so comfy. Your girl has knee issues. I have to wear orthopedic shoes and these are it. They might look like a grandpa shoe to you. And I Actually, I think they kind of do to me as well, but I love that about it. If I find something that I think others are gonna think is ugly, it kind of makes me like it more, which is a huge growth from high school where, I know I think in high school, we're all kind of concerned with what's trendy and what other people think is cool. Now I'm like, it's kind of hideous. How can I style that? Love the growth. I've honestly just been really embracing grandpa fashion this year anyway, like knit vests and everything like that. So I'd probably pair these with maybe a casual skirt and like a big knit cricket vest. I also like wearing this with like vintage dresses no amount of vintage dresses gives you dignity. Let me know below if you absolutely love or hate these. I won't be offended. I think they're cute. And finally for the shoes, these are just pretty much a replacement of a pair that I used to own. And again, they're just Windsor Smith, fantastic quality, secondhand leather, very versatile, regular black shoes. You know, I love a chunky heel. I love even more a platform underneath. So it's like the ball of your foot isn't just hitting the pavement. I could run a marathon in these shoes. Like I could go to a concert or a festival and wear these all day long 
along, run around and just still feel comfy. I honestly don't know how I get so lucky with thrifting things. The things that I love always seem to be in my size. These are eights, all of the shoes I found are eights and they're brand new, they had never been worn. So I feel very, very lucky and excited. Okay, next up is this gorgeous hat. So I thrifted this at the same place as all of those boots and I am so glad that I did. The inside of the brim has wiring, which is just fantastic in a hat. So it means you can sort of put it on. All right, I do look ridiculous wearing it right now, but you can shape it cowboy style like that. Tell me this isn't cute. Like this and a bikini at the beach covered in sunscreen. I love it. I also love this little turquoise detailing. Also, I love the people that you meet at op shops and thrift stores. They play the best music. It's always like 50s, 60s throwback. There is the kindest people. And in this store at the checkout, the lady was like, are you like a pensioner or do you have some sort of discount card? And I was like, oh no, sorry. And she was like, yeah, I think you are. Yeah, I think you showed me your card and put her little number in the system and gave me the discount for no reason. And I was just like, thank you for reminding me that the world is an amazing place. Oh, just so sweet. I just love people like that so much. She really made my day. Next up, this is my biggest item. So bear with. Okay, so as you can probably tell from this little blanket back there, I love a good patterned throw. This was no exception, this blanket. I just wanna show you how beautiful is this print? What color would you call that? Regardless, it is so gorgeous. It's actually quite similar to that, but it's gonna be more for sort of in the home space, like over a couch. It definitely needs another wash, I'll say that. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells like it's got like years of dirt accumulating on it. I saw a few TikToks on how to sort of properly wash a vintage item and just like soaking it in the bath. And it's definitely disgusting because you see all of the stuff that like runs out of it. But I think that's exactly what she needs. So keep you guys posted on that. I obviously need to give it a good clean, but I'm so excited just to be giving this a new home. I know I have told you guys before in one of my other thrift hauls that the men's section and the little kids section is where I get some of my best finds, probably most of my best finds actually. This is no exception. In the kids section, I found this beautiful thermal top. I feel like on camera it almost looks brown, but it's actually this gorgeous rainbow striped pattern. The dream would have been if they had like the matching bottoms. I don't know if it's only an Australian thing, I doubt it, but we have these long john sets that you can buy of like the thermal top and the thermal pants. I have it also in this blue pattern that I thrifted once before. I wore this once with my overalls and I was like, oh, I look so 90s. I didn't. I looked like Chucky the doll from Child's Play. It's actually not a bad Halloween costume idea. As we all know, Taylor Swift's red era is coming back up again. And these pants that I thrifted, I think are just perfect for that. Look at that. It's like, I suppose it's a houndstooth. This is the print. If I was assigning this a fictional character, I would say it reminds me of Annie's grandfather from The Parent Trap. And I love that. Woozy, huh? I just love finding pants that aren't jeans, you know, like a funky pant that's comfy. These ones are a little bit uh, tailored, like they've got a nice shape. My only critique is it only has this tiny pocket in the front. It could fit about, you know, a key or a coin or something. The only thing worse than no pockets is fake pockets. And that's what we have in the back. I like that they flare out a tiny little bit at the bottom. I think I would wear this with sort of a tan coat or maybe black boots and feel like I live in the English countryside. And then onto more of a casual alley find, this bad boy. This is actually online there was a website that my boyfriend likes that sort of curates vintage pieces I like the physical aspect of like going in store and sifting through everything but if you don't enjoy doing that and you sort of just want cool vintage pieces that someone else has like done the work for places like this are the best and that's where this bad boy is from nothing makes me feel better than just a casual American sports team t-shirt and finally from that same online store we have a nice classic Nike hoodie it's this beautiful navy blue color what would be my fictional character for this Probably Nathan Scott, honestly. <laughs> and I'm not mad about that. So I completely forgot. I also thrifted this mirror. One day I might treat myself to that gigantic anthropology mirror. Until then, this does the job. So the other day I actually received a beautiful package in the mail from someone that has a little jewelry company. I shouldn't say little, I mean small business. And I am just obsessed. I love how colorful this is. It reminds me of summer camp. It reminds me of being a kid. Also this bracelet, which reminds me of the Naily bracelet from One Tree Hill, if you know, you know. And most of all, this necklace that she named Ali after me. And that just makes me so emotional. It's really beautiful. She said she chose that name because these colors reminded her of like sunshine and the sunset. And 
and I don't know what I meant to do with that. Anyway, so I'm obsessed with that. I'm gonna leave the Instagram link to her store down below because it is just the coolest. I have bracelets, I have rings, these necklaces. I'm gonna be wearing this all summer. And the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about was a playlist that I made recently. You know I love my very specific Spotify playlists. For example, some of my best hits include songs from movies and shows that didn't need to go that hard, but they did. Throwback bangers to make you feel alive again. My followers have better music taste than yours, which was when you guys all submitted songs into a playlist. Love that one. DIY serotonin, country boy I love you. Anyway, this new playlist that I've curated, which is one of my all time favorites, is called Life is a Movie. I want you to listen to this playlist and feel like you are in a early 2000s Nancy Myers or Nora Ephron rom-com. It makes me feel so good. You can listen to it shuffled, but I think you should listen to it in order because there's a set feeling that I want you to experience. I just have to say, I'm very proud of this one. So most of my musical recommendations for this video is just that playlist because of how it makes me feel. But there's also one other song that I think you guys would love. Just put me in the best mood. It's called Like 1999 by a band called Valley. So here's a little taste. <laughs> that would be my song recommendation for now. You guys always have the best taste in music. So if you have any cool songs you've discovered lately, leave them below and I will definitely check them out. What else do I want to put you on to? I mean, you guys obviously saw in my day in the life vlog recently that I read Evelyn Hugo and I'm now reading Daisy Jones and the Six and it is so phenomenal. Book talk doesn't lie. Everything really is as good as it says. I'm loving just easy fiction reads at the moment because for about 10 years I couldn't get into fiction and now I'm loving it. So if you have any recommendations, I I think I want to check out either Unhoneymooners or Beach Read or Malibu Rising. If you guys have read any of those, let me know or have any similar recommendations. So this morning I was going through like my old belongings of things that I've kept because of their sentimental value. And I found this. So this is a drumstick. I feel like that looks really inappropriate. <laughs> so sorry. This is from 2009 when I saw Taylor Swift in a tiny little club in my city with about 700 other people. This is like just being chilling in my storage. I forgot that I had it and I'm so glad glad I rediscovered it. I feel like this is the most appropriate show and tell thing that I could have. You all know I'm a nostalgic little bitch, but I am also just very sentimental. Like I don't hoard many things, but if it comes to memories and like letters from people or anything tied to a positive memory, I'm never going to get rid of this, obviously. If you guys have anything from concerts that have such special sentimental value, please tell me about them in the comments. That can be your show and tell if you'd like. It just makes me really happy. The next time I do one of these, maybe I will have a new phone. If you've been following Following along the saga on Instagram, I really desperately need a new laptop and a new phone. And I'm just trying to decide which to bite the bullet on basically because I can't pull the trigger on like a $4,000 laptop and a $2,000 phone at once. I'm not good at like buying things for myself. For now, it's just me and my trusty iPhone 8. How many of you can say you still have a home button? All right, I love that part. I'm finally seeing Shang-Chi tonight at the drive-ins, which is so exciting. Life is just slowly starting to feel back to normal, which is really nice because obviously this year has been really hard. If any of you guys didn't know, I live in Melbourne, which had the longest lockdown in the world. It's been obviously quite hard. So these little bits of normalcy, being able to go thrifting again, being able to go to the drive-ins or go to the beach with my friends, feels very nice. And while I've got you all here, I just wanna say thank you so much because I've been feeling so much love on my channel lately and on my Instagram. And oh, I just feel literally like the luckiest person in the world. I think I have the best online community. I wish I could have a slumber party with all of you. I actually would love to have like a clothes swap or a garage sale or some kind of event where I can meet a bunch of you and like have a picnic or something. I don't know, maybe one day in the future when the world is back to normal. So yeah, thank you guys for all of the lovely comments. Welcome to everyone new that has found my channel. Thank Thank you all so much for watching my ads. Hopefully it'll help me to get overseas again someday soon. And yeah, just thank you so much for all of the love. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It just helps more people find this video and find my channel, which would be lovely. So thank you guys again so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.